Good morning, everyone. This is Artie, the Vintage Stitcher. I am coming to you uh, today is a Sunday, March 21st, 20th. First day of spring, second day of spring. Um, and spring has arrived here. It's been so nice. We've had wonderful weather. Um, today is supposed to be up into the 60s. And it is supposed to stay in the 40s overnight, which is like huge for us here. Um, usually we don't stay in the 40s overnight until early, late, late May, early June. Um, we can never really do any like of our spring or summer planting until after Memorial Day weekend. So not that any of us are going to start planting now. It's just it's too early and the risk is too high. We can still get a snowstorm. We can still get frost and the ground is still pretty, pretty frozen. So we're still kind of in limbo between winter and spring, but it's getting there and it's nice. And we're able to open our windows and breathe fresh air and go out for walks and play in the yard and all that good stuff. So I hope everybody enjoyed their Saturday yesterday. Mine was a very busy Saturday. Um, my son came over to work on some trailer equipment with my husband. So and his wife was working, so I had the babies in the morning, um, and that was very enjoyable. I missed them. I didn't have them all week, and by the end of the week, I really miss having them and snuggling on them and, you know, rocking a baby. I don't know. I, I, I rocked my babies. I hope. <laughs> I just loved on them until they wouldn't let me love on them anymore. So today, I have a couple of updates, a couple things I finished. So I did get some work done yesterday. The first thing I'm going to show you is my schoolgirl sampler. And this is what I've been working on. This is the one I started on a 28 count um, linen, antique white linen, one over one. Um, and I haven't gotten very far on it. I just haven't had too much time to work on it. This is where I'm at. So I got the entire border done and I started the words. Um, samplers, I get kind of weird. I like to work from the top down. I like to do row by row by row by row. It's, it's, it's just a weird little fetish of mine. So I will do each row individually, all the colors in that row, and then move on to the next. So um, I'm loving this one. This one is so much fun to work on. The words aren't like overly intricate and even though it's over one over one um it's very very enjoyable so I'm, I'm really liking this this one and then last night kind of tv time I just wanted to kind of veg out wanted to work on something bigger so <coughs> excuse me so I started my imagine dream and believe and this one I'm doing on the same 28 count linen as the sampler, but I'm doing it two over two. So it's going to be nice and big. So this is a, a two page um, project, nothing, nothing too huge. Um, but it's, I like how it's turning out. Look at those colors. I love it. So right here, I'm working on the bunny or half of the bunny. And then this is the second page over here. Um, this is going to be a quick stitch. And this, I really want to work into um, a pillow to go alongside the Quaker sampler. I think it'll look really cute. I realized um, I don't have a lot of pillows with um, with my stitching on it. So I'm going to make a couple of pillows. And it's it, this is just a fun one to kind of bring in spring and summer. And we... Um, where we live, we have a lot of wildlife in our, in our yard. So... And by spring, we have a lot of bunnies um, and they're fun to watch. I like watching the bunnies and a lot of times they'll like, um, our, we have a, a deck off of our house and it just has like lattice work trim around it. So it's kind of open for air reasons. And um, we've had bunnies like nest under there where they're safe and then they're out in the yard and stuff like that. They're, they're fun to watch and we enjoy the, the wildlife. So... The reason I'm kind of in a different position today is because I want to show you a couple of quilts that I finished. I've been talking about them and I'm pretty excited to have them done done. Um, one is for a client as a t-shirt quilt and the other one, I think if you watch my Friday video, was kind of just a practice quilt that I had left um, at my mom's so that we could practice the long arm on. And I got that one wrapped up this weekend too. So 
that is all for stitching for me today. If you're not interested in the quilts and, and stuff, um, I, I totally understand. Here's a good time to kind of break and go. Um, otherwise, I'm going to show you the two quilts that I have finished. So I'm going to have to stand up here. So kind of forgive me. I'm going to be backing up. <clears throat> and the first one is the t-shirt quilt. Let me see if I got it right side up. Yep. And I'm going to take pictures and put pictures at the end. So if you want to see, because this may not be a real good, a real good shot of how they look. But this is the t-shirt quilt. And it's, it's good size. So I'm going to kind of fold it up and hold it up. I don't know what you're seeing or what you're not seeing. So this is the t-shirt quilt. And I'll fold the last half and show you the bottom. Hopefully you can see all that. So as you can see, well, it is for a boy, um, but it's a good size quilt. I am five feet tall and that's, so it's about 75 inches long. Um, so it did, it turned out really nice. The backing, I used just this blue star backing. And these are the school colors. These are our local school colors. It's uh, maize and blue for one school. And then we have black and gold for the other school. We have two schools here. Um, so this is the t-shirt quilt that I finished. So I'm getting my workout in this morning. <clears throat> the next one, I'm not going to be able to show you the whole quilt. It is a, um, it's 92 by 92. So it's a huge quilt. Um, but I'll give you kind of an idea of what it looks like. This is, it's just a log cabin pattern. And it was set in sashing and had this really pretty, it's very old fabric. It's kind of a vintage fabric from the 80s or 90s, I think. Uh, but I had it in my stash and I just love it. So, and then just two and a half strip, two and a half inch strip pieces for the log cabin. So, this is... So this is the log cabin part, and then I just, I didn't want to set it side by side because I wanted it to be good size. So I set it with the brown sashing, and then I did the brown binding on the end, on the edges too. So, um, oh, that's a workout. <laughs> um, so those are, those are the things that I got accomplished this weekend, and I'm pretty excited because now... My work pile is down <laughs> to a, um, a controllable amount right now. I still have work piled up for customers that um, I'm going to start working on this afternoon. But I can get the t-shirt quilt delivered this week. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the log cabin quilt yet. I'm going to post it on my Facebook page. It doesn't really suit um, any colors in my house. Um, but I had wanted to make a quilt out of it. So somebody will call dibs on it, I'm sure. Either that or I will put it in our camper for this summer. Um, and that'll be nice because I like to have a quilt in there. And it's going to be big enough where both my husband and I won't be fighting for covers. <laughs> so um, that is about all I have for you today. And um, hopefully I'll get some more stuff accomplished today, this afternoon. I do have to go grocery shopping today. I hate grocery shopping. Who else is with me? It's the worst. Um, so I'm going grocery shopping today. I got to sweep and vacuum the floors, stuff like that. Um, this week we'll probably be turning, returning back to normal with babysitting schedules and work schedules and stuff like that. So um, it's going to be a busy week again. Uh, I hope everybody enjoys their spring. Um, I hope you're all having spring weather where you're at and um, enjoying that, getting out where you can. And when you're out in the world, please be kind, spread love, and find peace.